Gabe Perot scores and scores, and when he's bored, he scores some more. <laughs> and he's projected to go in the draft where Detroit is slotted to pick there at number nine. The last time the Red Wings won the Stanley Cup, Gabe's dad, Yannick, was still playing in the NHL. That was 2008. It didn't take long for the Perot kids to fall in love with hockey and turn into NHL prospects themselves, making USA Hockey history in the process. Oh, the late man is William. Right wing, and they score! Gabe Perot. For you as a hockey player, I know it's such a silly, simple question. What does it feel like when, when the puck goes in the back of the net off your stick? Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely pretty satisfying for sure, but I think for me, I always growing up, I was, I was more of a playmaker, so I, think I, I find it more satisfying to get a, an assist and a goal. Gabe Perot had a hockey stick in his hand for as long as he can remember. He and his siblings would dive into intense mini stick battles, watching their dad in the NHL. At what point did, did mini sticks in the house, trying to be like dad, become man, this is something we really could do. We could really be like Dad. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably when, when we moved to Chicago. I think we were probably around 12, and my brother was probably around 15. I think we had a lot of competitive matchups in our, in our basement with so every once in my dad, every once in a while my dad would play, and, and also my sister and, and my oldest brother. So I think it, it was pretty cool to enjoy those moments with them, and I think that's when we, we realized, though, we might, might be able to do this for a while. Perot spent the last two seasons in Plymouth at USA Hockey's National Team Development Program. Gabe Perot makes it 2 nothing, and he's tied to great Austin Matthews. He spent his senior year of high school passing big-name NHL players in the USA Hockey record books. They all know that he just set the record. Those guys are all, all really good players. They, they bring different things to the table, so I think you know, I, I try not to look into that stuff too much, but, I mean, obviously it's pretty cool with with all the guys on the team, you know, there's a lot of special players. So you don't take the stat sheet every day and drop no, the locker? No, like no. Perot watched his older brother Jacob go through the draft process, hearing the Ducks call his name 27th overall in 2020. He'll hear his own name this June and follow in his dad and brother's footsteps. It's, it's definitely pretty cool, but it, you know, it's also pretty funny. You got people asking to sign your forehead and, so, and stuff like that, so it's, it's also pretty funny. I mean, it's cool. You, I mean, you literally had people collecting your dad's trading cards growing yeah, up, yeah. and now you have kids asking, hey, will you sign my forehead? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty cool for sure. The list of players he passed on that all-time single-season record, it's a list of NHL All-Stars. Austin Matthews and Jack Hughes are perennial All-Stars and were each number one overall picks themselves. The lesson... Many sticks hockey can lead to big things, even though I knocked out my brother's tooth when we played in our basement. I didn't mean to do it. Neither of us made the NHL, but here we are talking about it. You know, it, memories were made, right. That's, right. That's all that matters. Right. That's what those guys will have in the basement, too, for sure.